everybody, and welcome back to another Roblox Studio video. So I was actually going to do a game in 30 minutes, but uh, the Dev King, who is another Roblox development YouTuber, did one in 30 minutes. So I am countering his 30-minute game, which outplays my hour game, with a 15-minute game. And uh, if you're watching this, I challenge you to make a game in 10 minutes. Let's get this down to something insane, like 20 seconds. Um... So yeah, uh, I've done a bit of prep, you know, like, uh, figuring out what kind of game I'm gonna make, all that. Pretty much everything goes. Uh, I can, like, use the toolbox, I can't just free model my entire game, obviously. But, uh, I'm going to be making a speed simulator, and I've done a little bit of research into how I'm going to do that. So, let's just, uh, get the timer. Uh, let's see. Uh, media source, add existing, media source two, and go, go, go. Okay, while that is starting, I will adjust the size of that to be good for watching. Uh, first we gotta do a step script so we can save. Ah, uh, I'm gonna be writing this mostly off of memory, oh gosh. Okay, I have just finished writing this, and if it works, I should. Uh, I should. It, uh, yeah, I have steps. Um, why do I have 118? <laughs> okay, so that works. It saves. Um, what we need to do is we need to go to starter. No, this can be the... A question mark? Okay, whatever. We'll do a local script in here. So we're probably going to want to do... Uh, true, do, wait. I guess 0.5... You can gain two steps a second. Let's see if it's about right. If game dot players dot local player dot character dot humanoid move direction dot magnitude. I think I remember this correctly. It's greater than zero. Then uh, we're gonna need a replicated storage event dot uh, add steps. We'll call it fire server. So now we need to go over here and we need to add a remote event. We need the thing this saving so it's easier to remember. Uh, remote event. We'll name this add steps. And then we'll add something in here called add steps. So we're probably going to want to spend about 10 minutes building a map. Because uh, it's not like we need something, something major to... Uh, it's not like we need a lot of major mechanics. We can just add, like, orbs or something. So we want to do game dot... Okay, I'll just... just the time warp. Okay. Uh, you can't move at the start. Okay, so... Uh, we should be gaining steps. How are we indexing nil with humanoid? Okay, there we go. We're gaining steps, and we should move faster... Yeah, we're moving faster. Cool. I love how derpy the levitate animation is. It's like... Uh, uh, it looks like a zombie. Uh, I think he gains speed a bit too quick. Like, you pull up speed too fast. But whatever. <laughs> okay, bam wham. We have a basic speed simulator engine. Yeah. So now I'm going to spend a decent amount of time building a map. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're going to add a bit of a blur effect. Because a blur effect is actually quite good for adding a cartoonish look. But you do need to make it a bit intense. But that's alright. Like four or five. And then we probably also want some sun rays. But not very intense. Uh, maybe like, yes, an intensity of 0 0.15 would probably be good. And then we are also probably going to want to bloom. They're just nice to add. And then that's probably about it. Maybe some... Maybe a atmosphere effect? I feel like that could be good. They generally tend to work quite well with making a simulator aesthetic. Ah! Uh, I shouldn't be paying this much attention to the graphics! Ah! Uh, um, okay, so now... We can add this brick, and I'm going to go ahead and take out a rounded part. Uh, probably something like this, if I can extend it in every direction normally. Yes, I can! Sweet! Uh, how is this a union? Um, or is that, is that just the icon they use? Whatever, it doesn't matter, we aren't paying attention to this. Um, 
so now I've, I've made a speed simulator before but it was it was pretty bad uh you probably want to do a smooth plastic green okay we have five minutes <laughs> time warp ah. okay we're out of time <laughs> yeah i guess you could stop meeping me uh there Sorry about that. Uh, sorry for like slightly modifying it after finishing, but whammo! <laughs> I am not proud of this at all. I mean, it's cool that I made it in such a short amount of time, but like it really doesn't need to exist. So, uh, let's show you what we made. <laughs> I cannot imagine doing that in like like ten minutes. Uh, obviously, you'd make something simpler, but. So yeah, you you just kind of get in there and start walking, and that's about it. <gasps> oh, I don't even want to leave a game link in the description. You know what? If this video gets 50 likes, I guess I'll come back to this game and I'll I'll update it. I'll make it an actual game that isn't this derpy. <gasps> Oh my goodness, and then if and then if that happens, I'll release it to the public. Um, yeah, I kind of just had to go fast. Like, I, I had to throw perfectionism aside. I was expecting to have time to finish a border over there, put a door there, but nope. So, uh, the Dev King, I challenge you to, um, make a game in ten minutes. And if you do, I will make a game in five minutes. And then you make a game in two and a half minutes, and then I make a game in a minute. Because that's how time scaling works now. Okay, bye. <laughs>